68 kilometers per second for every megaparsec, weird unit of astronomical distance. Megaparsec is a large distance. So we're expanding. The, the Big Bang, all the evidence points to a Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. We're expanding. Here's time moving here on the left. And so if you can picture this, we're very small at the beginning, and we expand as time moves on. And so present day is that sort of circle there. That's all the galaxies of the known universe. And people say, where can you point to to find the Big Bang? In the present universe, the Big Bang does not exist. That's right. The Big Bang exists in the past of everything in the universe. So it's not a place in the spatial universe, it's a position in the temporal universe back at the beginning. And so this is still happening. We are still going. And it's accelerating for mysterious reasons. There's a mysterious pressure in the vacuum operating against the will of all the galaxies that would try to slow it down. So that in fact our expansion is accelerating and that's why you get normal expansion would just be sort of a curve and now the curve is going out fast. It's a mystery. We call it dark energy. Mm -hmm. But we don't even know that it's, we don't know what it is. Could just call it Fred. <laughs> Someone named Fred in the audience right over here. We just don't know. I don't like naming things anything until you know what it is. I'd rather give it a completely neutral name. That's Otherwise, right. the name itself can can distract you and yeah. make you think it is something that it's not. The fact that we call it dark energy, I heard people say, well, if it's could it be a cosmic energy, they start reusing the word energy. Mm -hmm. And it's our fault. We should have just named it Fred. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Nobel Prize was given to the people who came up with the idea of the Higgs boson. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, by some known as the God part. Yeah. Why is yeah. it called the God part? Well, the Higgs yeah. boson is, is, a, 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 mm -hmm. is, a, is a is a is a particle mm -hmm. that creates what we call the Higgs field. And that field grants mass to particles in that field. So if you were gonna be a particle, if you were a Higgs boson, that's a pretty cool particle to be. Hence the term, the God particles. It's giving mass to things. The electron doesn't give mass to anybody, nor does the proton or neutron or the quarks. So this was discovered in, in 2012, in this hunk of hardware, just for scale, here's a full-size human being right here. And this is a ring <coughs> in Switzerland. It's huge. I, I forgot I didn't put in my slide that shows the aerial, aerial view how big this ring is. But it's a particle accelerator, the most powerful in the world, and it is not in America. <laughs> We had the most powerful accelerator throughout most of the 20th century. And then Congress says, no, that's not. We have other things we need to do. And so the center of mass in particle physics crossed the Atlantic Ocean, and it's now in Europe. So the point is this active research going on here of the energetics of the universe. And they're approaching the energies you would expect to find in the Big Bang itself. And if there is a mysterious particle that is responsible for the dark energy, or another problem called dark matter, it may reveal itself in these experiments. So keep an eye on that. It's called, it's called CERN, which is, in English, it's the European Center for Nuclear Research. But in French, I'm told that would be the sequence of the words, spelling mm -hmm. CERN. So, Center European <laughs> Research Nuclear. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that. Late applause for my French. <laughs> <laughs>
How about Mars? No. Mm. This spacecraft launched towards Mars two days ago. It's called Maven. <laughs> <laughs> and the adjusted too. And it's not going to land on Mars, it's going to orbit Mars mm -hmm. and study the atmosphere. We think of planets as these rocky surfaces, but Mars has an atmosphere. Earth has an atmosphere. Some places in the solar system have atmospheres. Occasionally you might want to know what's going on there too. Especially